anime is terrible and I can't stop watching it. Eminence in Shadow by Scamboli Reviews. We're finally gonna watch this. Let's see what he has to say. Yes. <laughs> This anime is going to be pretty good. History won't remember The Shadow of Eminence as a masterpiece, especially when you look at its competition this season. It doesn't have the prestige. This guy has a deep ass voice and he's playing Genshin soundtrack in the background already goaded. Prestige of Bleach. It doesn't have the talent behind Chainsaw Man and it's definitely mm. not going to have anyone in tears like Because these are all the different animes that was airing during that same season. It was getting drowned out. There was also Blue Lock too. I think Iruma-kun too. There were so many different animes happening at that time. Even Tomo-chan is a girlfriend, a highly anticipated rom-com manga. There were so many different animes airing at the same time Eminence and Shadow was doing, but it still stood out, even though it went kind of underlooked, Mom right? Psycho will. But with the Eminence and Shadow... The same fucking panel that everybody keeps using, Baldi right here with the cul-de-sac, sticking out his gyat like this, bro. Does have Look at that! Damn, Look at that stance! That fucking mean split, did you see that? Finally! Someone! Finally! Somebody actually talks about Baldi stance! Did you hear that? Scam Baldi reviews acknowledged it! The eminence in Shadow does have is... Goddamn, he's hitting that fucking mean split. Did you see that? Did you see it? Yo, look at that fucking split he's hitting. That's what I'm saying! Oh my god. I've, like, I just wanted someone to acknowledge the same thing that I noticed. But... Scamboli reviews already got it already. I'm already subscribed and liking this video. Oh my god, this guy's already hitting every tongue for me. What, what is he doing? What is that stance? Oh, it has some funny. Shit. The Eminence in Shadow is about this dude who's obsessed with being an overpowered badass mm -hmm. who looks completely average on the outside. He'll do anything to look like an NPC, nerf his own grades, look like an ass in public, even watch Bob's Burgers. Anything's on the table. What a Fucking criminal, dude. That's a war crime watching Bob's Burgers. But I hear that's an actual good show. I hear it's actually pretty decent. While behind the scenes. I'm Batman. He's a Batman. He's Batman. Batman. See? He's Batman. Yes. So it's got a huge problem, though. As much as he trains, there's limits to how powerful humans can grow. You that's can right. People up, sure. But can you dodge bullets? What about a new? Yeah. I think bullets to a certain degree. You should be. I mean, if, if you have enough, like, martial arts and anime done, I think you should be able to deflect bullets. But like a new crack, we need magic for that. The only way to get stronger is with magic. More power. Power. That means more power in yep. English. The bus hits him, he wakes up in another world as a baby. You're Was that a bus though? Was that a bus gamble reviews? In English. The bus hits him. Is this a bus, guys? I think this is more of a semi-truck. I think this is truck -kun. He wakes up in another world as a baby, you already know. The fun happens past the point of knowing what's going on, which is quite soon. Sid's solitary goal is to troll the fuck out of the audience. There's yep. this episode where Sid's kid sister is kidnapped in the dead of night, leaving Sid as the only person capable of saving her. Instead of Did he want to save her here? Did, did, did he say something here? What did he say? Panicking, Sid triples the fuck down on his role play. Oh, it's just, it's just throwing the dart onto the map. It's like, oh, this is where she is. Now over there. I don't fucking know. Go over there. If that's where the bitch is, I'm gonna do something most regrettable. That's where she is. <gasps> Impossible! <gasps> Masaka! Works? He finds the guy who kidnapped his sister. He's still role-playing, by the way. He mm -hmm. murders the bad guy and goes back to pretending to be a bitch the very next day. More Claire Beach service. Now, you can't see the toes here because it's obviously too zoomed out. But they keep doing this, man. Obviously, she was kidnapped and she got returned. She has no shoes. But there is something wrong, bro. They keep doing this shit. Right over here. You see this? Mary? Claire? Bro, the feed service is intentional for Claire. To be a bitch the very next day. Every Discord server needs a guy like Sid. The story is dead set on moving in whatever direction the author felt like farting that day. One time, a terrorist attack breaks out in their school. Yeah? Everyone's freaking out. Sid... It's got to be off the K2 because this motherfucker starts smiling. He realizes. Again, again, this is what every youth dreams about. I don't think I've ever dreamed about a terrorist fucking invasion on school. That sounds fucking terrible. I do dream about like fantasy about like flying or like teleporting and like looking cool in front of my friends. But like, I guess the whole point is terrorist attack and like popping off, like protecting your school against the terrorists and being like a hero. Maybe something that people actually do fantasize about. He realizes this is the perfect opportunity to fake his own death and look extremely feeble. Then and Riz Oriana up. 
proving to her that he does love her because he sacrificed for her. And then when he comes back as Shadow later, he calls her like my beautiful like sword master. He gets into the roleplay jammies and starts decapitating people in secret. Excuse me? The whole point of the show is that Sid makes random explanations for everything crazy going on in the world, and by sheer coincidence and mm. you know, author interference, it turns out to be completely true. Well, author interference, of course, but like these books, and as well as the bottle that he was looking at right over here, right, with the three heroes, like, um, these were straight up product that was stolen off of a carriage which already was being dealt by the cult of diablos they were obviously branded by the cult of diablos so him making shit up by pointing at this bottle and the book actually is not that much of bullshit because it's again it was already handled by cult of diablos according to sid the world is actually run by the demon cult diablos i think the most important thing there was the three heroes again there's hero Olivia. There's an elf hero. I think there's like a human hero. And then there's like a beast uh, man hero, right? So there's two more heroes. There's two more heroes implying that in the future, this could be actually like end game content, which I think a lot of people are kind of like overlooking. Does he know any of No. Yeah, he, he is still making this shit up, right? I'm just saying like, he did make this shit up, but like at the end of the day, what he pointed to as references for the bullshit that he made up kind of already kind of existed, right? But he's right. It's quite interesting. Shiva is beast? Shiva is the one? We did hear the beast one in the recent episode in the Yukimi. You're right, Antonio. Yukimi did mention Shiva. And during, during that whole um, backstory, I was like, what the fuck is a Shiva? W what is going on right now? But is Shiva's not beast hero? Oh, he got me hyped up for a second. I thought we were closer to something. Interesting to see how Sid's whims and made-up nonsense actually leads to plot progression. There's a massive betrayal, a series of murders from people copying Shadow Garden, all sorts of stuff. Most that episode, everyone, their only line, just like how Sid was only saying uh, the moon is red, the only lines those people, the mass people, were saying is, we are Shadow Garden. We are Shadow Garden. <laughs> like, I swear to God, they said it like seven times. All sorts of stuff. Mostly because Sid thinks stuff like that is dope. You never really know what's going to happen or how it's going to tie into the main story. You just know it's going to be pretty cool. The main yeah. dude is playing a game where he's the coolest guy in the world. Everyone else has no idea. He's just fucking around. They see him being a Sekai Batman and assume, oh, this guy's bad about it. He mm -hmm. is. Because look at this. Yeah. 14-year-old kid beating down a military veteran with a crowbar, Isaka Batman. While also being super self-aware and ironic. You can laugh at what's going on screen and think it's pretty cool because his actions yeah. do have consequences and he is overpowered. Side note. Ooh, Claire feet service again. Toes, Claire toes. Toe check. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I think the pinky toe's missing there. Anyway, the fights are brutal. I was not expecting people to be minced like garlic. And I definitely didn't expect it to actually look good because mm. the production is spot. It does look very good. When the fight scenes do happen, I've never thought that Emerson Shadow was lacking in budget. Everything looks very crisp. Sometimes. On other occasions, there's serious detail. There's this moment where Sid puts his stuff away and the bag he's carrying rips off his shoulder with a metallic thud. A bigger Okay, here's the thud with the crowbar. Boom. But then the, again, the previous video we watched on Chang Bros, the shoes, right? Shoes being dropped. The shoes also make a thud. I didn't catch it until my second watch because by then I realized. I bet he didn't catch the shoes. Realized that bag is probably full of weights that he's constantly training with. They don't mention that at all. There are gorgeous mm -hmm. landscape shots. The world is drawn like someone was actually paid to care. But <laughs> I've detected some High Guardian spicisms. Don't treat what? me like I'm stupid. This chair is made out of real life. I looked it up. And what do you mean? This anime is made by Dick Butt Studios. Uh, you might know them from making what? nothing good ever. I'm torn. The eminent. Wait, 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 what? I, I didn't get that reference. That chair is made from what? I, I didn't get, I, I did not get this reference because I don't know what the hell a high garden spice is. Sisms. Don't treat me. What do you mean with this chair is real? Like I'm stupid. This chair is made out of real life. What do you mean? I looked it up and this anime is made by Dick Butts. So Nexus Studios. Studios. Uh, you might know them from making nothing. Never watched any of these animes other than, oh no, 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 no. Oh shit. We've watched uh, Chivalry of Failed Night, Rakudashi, right? Okay. Okay. Nothing good ever. I'm torn. Damn. Scam bully just shit on Chivalry of a Failed Knight, guys. You guys enjoyed that, didn't you? Oh no. Oh no. The Eminence and Shadow is really good at wielding tropes against. It's a PNG chair? Oh, I see what he means by real life. Oh, I see. I did. 
I get it. I get it. it this straight up just copy pasting a fucking chair like acid. Like they didn't draw that shit. It's just like, okay, okay, okay. Dude, you catch your ass off guard. C Captain, what even is that monster? Calm down and get the civilians to safety. I'll hold it off. Captain! But that's Rest in peace. also where I have beef with the anime. One time, Sid goes out of his way to get rejected in the most scientifically cringe way possible. That scene is so fire. Uh Oscar winning acting skills, man. Brilliant. This was not funny. Let me show you how the manga did it. Okay. Princess Shalexia. Background character confession technique. Tremble visibly. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you say? What do you say? Princess Alexia. Character con Background character confession technique. So this is also a mob food. One of the 40 techniques he has. Do the P P P bit in staccato. The dot 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 in vibrato. And add a list to the please and change the pitch midway through Alexia. Keep the back hunched forward at a 60 degree angle. This is actually insane. The amount of details going into the mechanics on how to execute this confession. This is actually so fucking hard. Look at this shit. Confession. It's like two different tempos. You gotta add a list with a specific way, change the pitch, and then know it to stretch in a 60 degree angle. Technique, tremble visibly. Holy fuck. Avert gaze nervously. At a tenth of a second, raise your right hand. Hold it there. The optimal gap. <laughs> then without a moment's delay, raise your right hand and hold it there. The key here is the distance between the two of you. The optimal gap is... It looks like she's about to fucking cut her off, dude. 72 inches? How do you know this? A slightly distant. 72 inches. Discombobulate. Oh, wait, that's a fucking... That's a Sherlock Holmes meme. That, that's, a, that's a Sherlock Holmes uh, movie meme. Immediately drop to a 90 degree angle. <laughs> Please go out with me. That's how you should have done it. Dick Butt uh. Studios might not be entirely at fault. The anime was based on the more PNG art. More PNG art. Look, 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 look. PNG. The, even this. All the all the decorations. Is based on the light novel, not the manga. What I enjoyed and experienced will differ a bit from the anime, and I've heard that the manga exaggerates some of this. I love this. I love how Buffy is. And who thinks about this so deeply? You're right. Who the fuck actually thinks about this so deeply? But that's the whole point. That's why it's so funny. Uh, that someone would go into such fucking details about the mechanics of a confession scene. It's, that's the bizarre part, but it's so funny. Scenes for comedic effect. Comments like this say, manga is over-exaggerated. What? Light novel is the source. If you hate it, True. don't watch it, yada yada yada. Actually, people actually do say the manga is a bit different from the light novel, and that you should not be taking the, light no the manga as, like, you know, canon stuff. So that's like a, maybe it's like a valid criticism, right? Uh, hey, that'll do, fucker. That'll do. In comedy, people aren't tall, they're humongous. People don't just smell, they're putrid. You're supposed to exaggerate. Take this scene straight out the manga. Yep. I do love hot springs. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised. I'll get these down. He's actually doing the voice acting too, bro. Eyes are not staring. <laughs> this bathing is always a struggle when you just... <laughs> if I if I did the manga reactions, we're gonna talk in the Saori voice. Who who remembers the Saori voice? Who remembers the um the fucking uh what what's what's the name, bro? Um the other Natsuki voice from you know the fucking what's what's it called? A game we played, Doki Doki Literature Club. I think I'll do the voice acting for Alexi like that. It's a breaking a kind of snap glances at me. <laughs> it's breathing as always. I can't, I can't do that, man. Beautiful as I am. Someone's feeling confident. Hot springs are sacred places, you know. Besides, the sunrise is more beautiful anyway. Oh, so cool. And by the way, could you stop staring at my Excalibur? That's right. It's a grower, though. It's not a shower. It's a grower. You call that thing Excalibur? Now who's feeling confident? Don't. 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 Judge a book by its cover. Oh. When the holy sword is drawn from its scabbard. Yo, he's playing Dark Soul soundtrack. Be unleashed, sending you on a journey to the Garden of Chaos. Yo, what the fuck? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. Look, 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 look at Sid's hips right there. Why did the author give him a BBL here? What the fuck? You, you can't see his ass, but look at the hips right here. Look at the line. Like these hips, they look a little bit too breedable. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Why did why, why, why the author give him a fucking wagon hip right here, huh? What's going on here? Why the, the anime probably did a better job, right? Obviously, like, the anime actually showing the towel whip and everything. It's gonna be a little bit better than, like, the, the flap here. Fuck 
pretty goofy. Maybe not hilarious, but I quite like the scene. Let's take away yeah. exaggeration. I'm surprised you're not looking at me. Oh. Mixed painting oh, is always hard when you're this pretty. No, I appreciate hot springs a lot. Anyway, I, I'd rather stare at the sunset. Okay. By the way, could you not stare at my privates? Oh. It's the okay. same thing, except okay. less enthusiasm. Bye. Bye. Something was less funny there. The anime. Yeah. You know, just exaggerate, just fucking perform, you know, react harder. It's, it's funnier if you put a lot more emphasis on it. Still dumb fun. I'm a little disappointed by how it's being adapted, but something is keeping me watching. I don't know if it's the stupid ass hijinks, the ridiculous main character, or the fact that the last two episodes were much better than the first two. Check it out. It's looking good so far. And if that Wait, last two episodes were better than the first two? Meaning that he's only watched up to like episode four here? Did he not watch I'm Atomic before what, making this episode? Holy shit, may maybe he did. I'm not sure actually. That's not your thing. You know these shows are going to be way better. Why not watch those? Sponsored by Nord. Is that it? You got any more things to say? All right, add Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. And it was just a Raid Shadow Legends video. Great video by Scambler Reviews. My first video from him. Please subscribe to him. Like the video if you did. I liked his, like, his video editing was definitely different from everyone else's, right? I think one thing I noticed after watching a lot of these um, anime review videos and seeing who is, like, more successful in, like, terms of viewership, right? Obviously, this guy's got, like, a 1 million subscribers, 1.6 million views, right? I think this is definitely one of the biggest, like, Eminence Jetta videos that we've seen so far. But the difference is that it's not just, like, editing or just, like, adding in popular media or, like, references. Like, for example, the soundtrack he's playing, he's playing Genshin in the background. He's, like constantly like, referring to like other popular media and just like, making memes but it's just like way of like executing and performing right his voice acting it, his, his voice is actually very nice to hear it's a very calming soothing tone at the same time he actually you know can actually voice act the girls too it's actually pretty funny this guy's actually goaded we should watch more content from him but anyways we do these reactions live on stream 7 a.m pst on youtube and twitch every morning so please i would like to see you there Bye bye